Good afternoon, I'm Mr. Ruyard in room 518, your local EGI champion. Today I'm going to help you set up your gradebook in Schoology and have it EGI aligned. So first, um, please open up your course that you are going to be setting up. In my case, I'm doing this in my sandbox uh, since I've already set up all my courses in my regular classes. Uh, a quick word, we're going to be working on two parts. We're going to be working on the category section here, and then we're going to be working on the scales area. We're going to create two scales, a mastery final and a mastery grading. You do not have to copy the way I label it, but for ease, I think this makes this really works. So because I need to know that the mastery final is for report card grading, letter grading, the mastery grading, the zero to four scale, are for my assignments only. These two are separate. Again, one for report card grading, where a student receives a letter grade, the other one is strictly for assignments only. And then the categories, of course, are based on learning targets that your department would have uh, assigned to you or worked on or put collaborated on. Uh, I, our department in English, we have seven learning targets, but I did add two more, LT8, Work Habits Miscellaneous Assignment, extra credit can go on there if I choose to, and we are perhaps going to be using Accelerated Reader AR, so I have that there too, just in case as a separate grade. The star is a default, so if you happen to give a lot of assignments in LC, LT7 like I do, then I would default to that. So whenever I create an assignment, it automatically shows this. Of course, you can change it in the assignment. That's going to be another video I will show, but you can always uh, set it up to a different one. I star the mastery grading because again, I will always use this for the most part. Mastery final is only for report cards, so I don't really worry about this for now. So let's go ahead and set this up. So first things first, before we have the learning target, I think it's easier to set up the mastery final and then we'll revisit this area here for later. So let's start with the mastery final because we are gonna be, we are gonna need this mastery final scale here in the final grade setting area under gradebook scale. So let's create that one first. So to create this, you simply go to add, scale, and there are two choices, points or percentage. We're gonna work with percentage right now. Points we will revisit and we'll use that for the mastery grading zero to four scale. For now though, we're gonna stick with percentage. So these are gonna be letter grades. Title it. I think for ease, it's easier to title it Mastery Final, and I emphasize the word final just so it stands out for me. And then we're gonna have letter grades here, A, B, C, D, and F. So plug in the letter A there, D, C, D, and F. The range here, it's going to be based again on the EGI standards as set up by the Division of Instruction. So um, we're just gonna plug in what we are given. So this is gonna be 80%. And I'm just gonna go down the row a little easier. 80% here, 40%, 60%, sorry, 40%, 20%, 0%. Here, these are gonna change from, that's gonna stay 100%. This one's gonna be 75%. And then here we have 50%, 25%, and this will be 10%. Please check the only show letter grade. Students do not need to see the percentages that they've earned. Uh, it could be confusing anyway because it doesn't tend to match the regular percentages that they're used to. So just click on this and have that there. Go ahead and pause the video if you'd like to copy this, but your uh, Grading scale here for mastery final should look exactly like this with the exact same range numbers. So please do that. And then when you're done, please hit save changes. Otherwise you will lose it. Uh, please do not click on the average because we're not averaging grades. So we're simply going straight on what we are going to give them later. And I'll show you that again on a different video. I'm gonna hit cancel because I've already created this in my, the scale in my gradebook. For you, please hit Save Changes. Okay, now let's go ahead and create our second one before we dive into this area over here. Let's go work on the Mastery Grading 04 scale. Here, 
we're going to create a master, another scale. This one we're going to title master grading zero to four. Again, uh, the labeling does help to make it simple. I'm going to add scale. And this one's different. We're not working with percentage anymore. We did that with the master final. We're not going to work with points. And I'm going to create still th these areas. So here it's going to be just numbers four and three, two, one. And I do give a zero for not turning an assignment. So that's going to be zero. And I'll just go ahead and put that in there to show you. So this is a three, this is a two, and this is the one. For ease, I, I'll call these marks rather than grades because the grades are your final grade for um, progress report and or report cards. So these are the, the marks that I would give for an assignment. If a student earned four points, three points, two points, one point, or zero for not turning any, any assignment. Scale name, I would title this Mastery Grading. And I just, again, emphasize zero to four scale. Make it easier. Here, our department uh, determines some wordage here, but it's really up to you. So exceeds, I can spell, exceeds mastery, meets mastery. This is, again, all up to your department, how you've all agreed on how to word this. You can have as much description here as you want or keep it as simple as possible. Approaching mastery. And here we have no evidence of mastery. You can do that. And it should look like this. What matters here really are the points and of course the descriptions, the students do see this. So it, it should be there and it makes it easier to explain what a zero means and what a three means and so forth. Go ahead and copy this, please. And then when you're done, again, as always, make sure you hit Save Changes or it will disappear on you. I've already created this, so I will hit, just hit Cancel. Pause this video if you'd like to copy this. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead, cancel this, and we're gonna move on to the other part. We're gonna create these categories. So to create these, and I'm just going to walk you through it, because I, but I will not save them because I already have my categories made. But these, again, are learning targets as determined by the English department. And I just use the very simple language. You can make this as, as um, detailed as you like, but keep it simple. I think that's just make it easier. So first of all, look at the, the, the settings, like the weight categories. There is no weight, so make sure that is not there. And then we're just going to hit Add. And here, this is really simple. You're just going to put LT1 and whatever that is. Again, you can type it however you'd like. Uh, I'm going to keep it narrative plus, in our case, in the English department, this is narrative plus language use. So this is our narrative writing and language use. Ignore everything else. Total points, leave that alone. And drop lowest, leave that alone, please. And then make sure you hit Create. And you're going to do this each time for each learning target that you are creating, even your customized one. Like down here, you can see the LT8 and the LT9. All right. You can hit, I'm going to hit cancel because I've already created these. But just keep repeating this over and over again until you have all your learning targets written down. The default for me is LT7, so I start it because I do a lot of quick writes. There's a daily do now. It's when students come in. So those are the most graded assignments I have. So whenever I create an assignment, it defaults to that. You can always change it, though, in your assignments, and I will show that in a later video. After that, please follow these setup as well. Uh, the weight should be 100%. And here, our gradebook scale, you will have choices. Choose Mastery Final, which we created earlier over here. Make sure round period final grades is unchecked and everything else too, all this. You, this is really up to you and how you want to do this. The EGI standard is to check off these three boxes. We're going to hide grading periods, calculated score columns. We're going to hide grading category score columns. The students don't need to see that. We're going to hide the grade period override columns as well. They don't need to see how they were, their grades changed or how I overrode their grade. Don't need to see that. Total point columns, unnecessary. Down here as well, uh, the default is allow members to view the student's gradebook, but we're going to add this one more. High grading period grades and student grade report card. Again, they don't need to see that. Some teachers do like to allow members to view student mastery details or faculty. That's fine. But these 
three up here, and these two here are the standards for EGI, as determined by the Division of Instruction, so please do so. Make sure you hit Save Changes, or it will all disappear on you. And once you've set it up, it should look somewhat like this. We have your learning targets, and the way it looks. And over here, we have our Mastery Final. Again, this will help determine, if I click on that, it'll look like that. This will, be deter this will help determine students' grades for report cards. Over here, the Mastery Grading Scale looks like this, and will determine their marks for each assignment you give. And this is how you set up the grade setup for EGI aligned grading. I will show you a video uh, later on actually how to create assignments and how to make that EGI aligned to match what you've done in the grade setup. But this should be it for you. Copy these settings by do coming up here, copy settings, uh, choose the, the rub you don't need to choose the rubrics because we only work on categories and grading scales. Copy those and copy it to the classes you need to copy it to. Again, it all varies depending on your grade level, um, if you're teaching multiple grade levels, and of course, subject content. So you'll just have to work on that. And that's it. If you have any questions, please email me uh, at r.ruillard, R-O-U-I-L-L-A-R-D, at lausd.net. Otherwise, you all know me up in 518. Uh, email me, and I would love to visit your classroom, help you set this up for the school year, um, and get you going. And hopefully, you're interested in becoming EGI certified. I am more than willing to help you and guide you through that, that uh, painless, it really is painless process, but I think it'll make a difference in your, um, in your grading. And of course, more important, it'll make a difference on our students. Thank you very much, and please contact me if you have any questions.